Hello, Canby Lines Church. Good to be seen. Good to be seen again. It's been a while. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you had a great fourth. Uh, here we are in July already. The summer's just moving right along. And uh, as you well know, everything is open in the state of Oregon. Uh, mask, physical uh, distancing restrictions, all those have been lifted. And so we are fully open here at CAC and would encourage you to begin to come back to church. It would be, be awesome uh, to see more and more of you here on Sunday mornings. Masks are welcome if you still want to wear one, but not required. And uh, hope to see uh, some of you out this Sunday that we haven't seen for a while. A um, little thought I want to share with you this morning from 2 Timothy 4, 5. It's a verse that I've been uh, pondering uh, the last few weeks, 2 Timothy 4, 5, Paul writes to Timothy, But you, Timothy, keep your head in all situations. Endure hardship. Do the work of an evangelist. Fulfill all the duties of your ministry. And even though this is written from Paul to Timothy, from a pastor to a pastor, so to speak, uh, I think it, it has application for all of us. Keep your head in all situations. Uh, we have been through some tumultuous times, and uh, we all know what I'm talking about. And it's been, it's been a challenge to keep our head in all situations with all of the ups and downs and changes and transitions and switchbacks. And uh, some of us, our, our heads are spinning and our souls are tired uh, as we, we head into the rest of the summer. And this is just a good word that no matter what's going on inside of us, maybe with fears, anxiety, uncertainty, no matter what's going on outside of us with changes in society, things opening back up, it's just a good reminder to calm down, to be at peace, to keep our head in all situations to remain sober and uh, level-headed. Uh, that's number one. And then Paul says, endure hardship. And uh, Paul is a realist. He knows that, that there are going to be times in life when we go through difficulties, when we go through hardship, uh, we, when we uh, go through suffering, difficulties. And so Paul just says, endure it. Uh, live through it. Don't try to avoid it. Don't get all upset and bothered by it. But just endure hardship. And everything we know about the development of our souls, about spiritual formation, about becoming more like Christ, tells us that hardship and difficulty and suffering uh, aid in our spiritual growth if we respond uh, appropriately more than just about anything else. And so hardship is prime time for spiritual growth, development, growing closer to Christ. Paul says, endure hardship. And then thirdly, he says, do the work of an evangelist. And uh, I love this part because it reminds us of mission, that we're here on mission, that it all comes down to the love of God that's been shed abroad in Christ Jesus. It all comes down to the good news of Jesus Christ, who out of his love has uh, died for us, given us life now, life to come, joy, peace, love, uh, just the transformation that Christ can bring in our lives, and that God loves not just us, but he loves everybody. And so it's just a reminder of the importance of being a witness to those in the surrounding culture, those in our families, our workplaces, our neighborhoods, uh, by our deeds and by our words. Do the work of an evangelist. And then lastly, Paul says, fulfill all the duties of your ministry. And so there, were, there was a list, a job description that, that Timothy had. And Paul's just saying, be thorough. Do everything that's expected of you. Don't do things half-heartedly. Don't do things that you, I mean, don't not do things that you don't want to do. Um, but we all, we all have these things expected of us. We all have these responsibilities. 
as human beings, as Christ followers, as spouses, as parents, as children, as siblings. Um, we all have these duties, whatever they might be. And so Paul's reminder is just to fulfill all of those duties as best we can. And so there you have it. Keep your head in all situations. Endure hardship. Do the work of an evangelist and fulfill all the duties of your ministry. And I would just add that we do this in the power of the Holy Spirit. We do this as we wait upon Christ and depend upon Christ as we pray and say, you know, come Holy Spirit, come and uh, help me to do these four things uh, to the glory of God. Uh, those are some thoughts that I've had in recent weeks as I've camped out in 2 Timothy 4, 5, and I hope you find them helpful. I hope you find them encouraging, and I pray that you would have a good rest of your week, and God bless, and thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.